Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the New York Yankees and the Seattle Pilots at Brainiac Stadium. On the mound for the Yankees today is Doc Medich, whose record is 6-9 with a 5.07 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots is Ron Locke, whose record is 6-3 with a 3.42 ERA. Okay, we are now at a phase of the season, um, the final stretch, really. But we're at this point where we cannot stop giving up runs. Um, we have given up 13, 3, 15, and 8 uh, in consecutive games. And our run differential now is, uh, well, over 100 runs um, against. So that, that's not great. Uh, and our Pythag Pythagorean... Um, is like one different so we've actually performed better than our run differential which would make a lot of sense considering the way we've played lately i kind of feel like we're due for a win um based on our pythagorean but it's going to be tough as we're facing uh, doc medich today and we have ron lock making another spot start uh since brew baker was injured uh lock has taken over that role so We'll have a lefty on the mound, and that always makes for a different lineup for our opponents. That, that always makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, if you don't already know, we have the final giveaway uh, started now for uh, the 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Uh, we currently have eight contestants. I'll show you the duck race. Here it is. Here are our current eight contestants. We just started yesterday. So one day we've got eight. That's great. Uh, we have, uh, so far, we have Al B, Thomas D, Lance B, Julio L, Shane M getting back in there, Lying Dog, Don T, and Dave K. Uh, so if you want to get in on our final giveaway, be a subscriber. Just let me know in the comments. Uh, if you don't know what the prizes are, uh, we do have the uh, prizes posted on the Brainiac Baseball community page. You can take a look at the uh, prizes there. Or if you are a member of our Facebook page, I uh, have them posted there as well. Um, just a quick reminder, the third place prize is the Aurelio Rodriguez 1969 Tops card in which the photograph is actually of the Bat Boy for the California Angels. The second place prize uh, is the uh, 2012 Panini Golden Age Boog Powell autograph card. Uh, Boog Powell won the 70 American League MVP. And the grand prize giveaway is a 2002, I'm doing this from memory, Top's Finest uh, Jim Bunning autograph card uh, that commemorates his perfect game. Uh, that he threw in, I believe, 1965. So uh, 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 some really great cards there, uh, pieces of memorabilia, autographs uh, that we are giving away. Um, and if you want to get in on it, just let me know in the comments. Be a subscriber, and I will get you added to the duck race. We'll give away those prizes uh, in game 162, the final game of the season, uh, during the seventh inning stretch. Okay? So... Just let me know. We'll get you in there. Let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Ron Locke getting another spot start this year. He's been so good as a uh, in the starter role. And he's done very well against the Yankees. They're only batting 114 against him. And then we take a look here at our bullpen. Everybody's good to go, with the exception of my name is Earl. Uh, he will not be available today. Everybody else is good. Here's our lineup against the right-hander, Doc Medic, George Medic. Uh, we do have Joe Pepitone listed as tired, so I've taken him out. Uh, and we're going to put Johnny Jeter in there in right field. He's actually been pretty good. Uh, since he was called up for September, and I think he is a serious candidate for our number four 
outfield position for next year. He's got speed. He's great defensively at all three positions. And he can hit. So uh, that, that'll leave uh, Don Bosch out in the cold. Everybody else is our standard uh, everyday lineup kind of guys. Let's take a look at the lineup rundown for the New York Yankees. Batting leadoff playing third base is Jerry Kenny. Batting second and left field is Bobby Mitchell. Batting third and catching is Thurman Munson. Batting cleanup playing first base is Tony Solida. Batting fifth and right field is Jim Lytle. Batting sixth in center field is Ma Ross Mushido. Batting seventh at second base is Horace Clark. Batting eighth at shortstop is Gene Michael. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Doc Medich. I'm sure you all remember Ross Mushido. Uh, we got to look at his log. Does it have his start against us? Yeah, he had the home run way back on May 31st. And he went two for three and walked on July 29th. For whatever reason, this game has decided that he is absolutely going to crush us every time he gets into the lineup. We'll see how he does today against Ron Locke. Locke is making his seventh start. He's six and three with a 3.42 ERA. Um, well, he's finally evened out his walk to strikeout ratio at one. And that's in 76 and a third innings. Opponents are betting 205 against him. His fastball tops out at 88 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 48.9%. The fastball is the only good pitch he has. Rated an 81. Overall rated an 80. The 28-year-old left-hander is arbitration eligible and next year. Let's take a look at his log. Uh, kind of amazing. He's won two in a row. He won his last start versus Cleveland. He gave us five innings giving up two runs on three hits. That's all we want from him. Give us five innings, keep us in the ball game, and we'll feel pretty good about that. Here's our defense today. Solid everywhere you look. Uh, Jeter out there in white is a rated in 85. The infield with uh, Devan in at short is uh, our lowest rated infielder. And behind the plate again today, is Manny Sanguian. And here we go. We got Jerry Kenny leading it off against Ron Locke. Lefty on lefty. Brown ball to short. Testing Devanin. Way out of the gate. There's one down. Here's Bobby Mitchell. He was a rookie in 1970. This is his rookie 1971 card. And Locke walks him. Okay, uh, runner on first, one down for Thurman Munson. Munson hit his eighth home run of the year in yesterday's victory. That's a hot shot to second. Kelly, oh man, he always turns a double play. Mitchell has great speed. And usually when their double play does not happen, it's a guaranteed run scored. And Tony Solita, who does have the most home runs in RBIs, Gets the job done. No, it's going to be caught against the wall. For out number three, we go to the bottom of the first. Take a look at our lineup. Batting leadoff today in right field is Johnny Jeter. Batting second in left field is Jose Cruz. Batting third at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting cleanup playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth in center field is Tommy Agee. Batting sixth in catching is Manny Sanguian. Batting seventh at second base is Van Kelly. Batting eighth at short is Jerry Devanin. And the pitcher Ron Locke in the number nine spot. Okay, here's Doc Medich. Getting an opportunity to pitch with some injuries to the Yankees starting pitchers. He's making his 16th start, six and nine with a 5.07 ERA, 62 strikeouts, and 110 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 297 against him. He does have three complete games. Not much of a fastball. In fact, he doesn't even throw a fastball. His only good pitch for the moment is the sinker. It's rated in 85, and because he's got all these off-speed pitches, his ground ball percentage is pretty high. It's 
overall rated an 85. He's only 21 years old. Uh, the right-hander doesn't go to arbitration until 1972. Now, he did face us back on July 31st, and he got a complete game victory, giving up three runs on eight hits, also facing us back in May, at the end of May. He went eight innings, giving up two runs on seven hits. When he faced us, he had a 16-36 ERA. And he cut it down by six runs. <laughs> That's, the That's baseball mogul for you. Here's the defense for the Yankees. Looking good everywhere today, other than shortstop with Gene Michael. Um, Mitchell in left is an 83, and Moshido in center is an 82. All right, here we go. Johnny Jeter leading it off versus Doc Medich. Ground ball up the middle. Almost snuck through. Forrest Clark makes the play. One out. And Jose Cruz, who's batting over 400 in his last 20 games, hits his fifth home run of the year. And this is fifth home run in 20 games. And it's 1 0 Seattle. I feel like that was the trade of the season. We had made a lot of trades for pitchers. None of them panned out. But Jose Cruz is the man right now. Ooh. Johnson missed on a 77-mile-an-hour changeup. So we're on the board. It's one nothing thanks to the home run by Jose Cruz. Jim Lytle will lead off to second. That's a ground ball to short and an error. Well, that makes sense. Get the leadoff guy on for Ross Moshido. Down ball to second. Can we turn two this time? No. Okay. Well, the game is over now for sure. Back to back errors, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. So I just push the buttons and get it over with. All these are going to be under runs. So none of it's going to hurt Ron Locke. But there's really nothing else we can do here. Two errors, infield single, a walk, another walk. I mean, there's nothing we can do. And this is, you know, again, we've given up a ton of runs. You'd think the game would be in our favor, but none of those runs hurt Ron Locke. So we have as many errors as the Yankees have hits, and we're down 3-1. to one. Now... Uh, after today's ball game in a separate video, I'm going to do the 1985 Detroit Tigers division preview of the American League East. So stay tuned for that. Um, that'll probably be a longer video. Most of those videos tend to run right around an hour because we do go team by team in each division and we look at their off season, um, uh, uh, transactions and then we look at the roster to see how that team has been affected oh they're going to score so many runs now because he still has yet to give up an earned run we'll pull the infield in but it doesn't matter now yeah that'll be the first earned run and then the pitcher so we're just going to get this game over now it doesn't really have anything that, that we can uh, build off here. We will take Ron Locke out. And you know, bring in Gary Coleman. Well, Jeter wants that job. Why would he just not go home? so stupid. I, I really do hate this game. It's pretty much garbage. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, Freddy C has tried convincing me, and it won't take a lot of convincing, but to go back and start playing the 2017 version of this game, 
Um, and that's probably a good idea. The 2017 version of Baseball Mogul was the last Baseball Mogul that I played that actually worked. Like this is just glitch after glitch, garbage after garbage play. When you start off an inning with two errors, you know, walks, singles, box, wild pitches, pass balls, I mean, you know the game is garbage. We'll bring in Pete Davidson. See if we can get one out. Uh, I don't think, I mean, I, I just don't want to go back and use um, the right version. Like maybe if I start another new series, I'd go back to 2017. Because I, I know that it'll fuck up the game somehow. Like if I go and use a different version, then it'll reconvert all the ratings into, you know, like the game is just not designed properly. So, I mean, I'm just asking for trouble if I do something like that. Yeah, pitcher with a five ERA, holding his own against our team. See if he can't get Davidson through this inning, since he is due to bat. No, of course not. How many runs will he give up? That is the question. Another error. Oh, a double play. If we couldn't get the double plays when we needed it, we got errors. And instead of getting an error, we actually got a double play. Van Kelly with a hit. Jerry Devannon. I was thinking uh, before the ball game today that I, uh, I'm absolutely going to cut uh, Mark Belanger. We will not sign him to another contract. So Devannon is going to be our everyday shortstop next year. Unless there's somebody that's a free agent that might offer us something better. I, I don't know. But like going into another season with Devannon as a shortstop isn't all that appealing either. Oh, let's see here. Let's bring in Ray Peters. Top of the sixth inning. Really two runs down, but this game was over before it started, so I don't really have any uh, um, serious ideas that the, we could actually win this ball game. Bottom of the sixth. Jose Cruz. Runs out. Rich Rollins. I almost feel bad for him. He deserves to be a starter somewhere. I've said it before, I think Aurelio Rodriguez needs to get every day at bats, even if he only bats 240. At least. Um, nice job there by AG fighting that one off. We've been thrown out three times on the base path in this ball game. It doesn't matter. Oh, and then we threw somebody out. That was Jeter, by the way, that just threw out a base runner at second. That's pretty crazy. Five to two on Thurman Munson's home run. Sanguin with a hit. We get tons of hits, but none of them amount to anything. Ray Peters. Give the rimp a chance. Oh, little play. Top of the eighth. And let's give the gerb a shot. I think the gerb gave up a run in his last outing. Did he not? Two outings ago.
Let's look at the in-game stats. What's Mashida? One for three. Will he give up another one? Yep. For six to two. How many will he give up? Yep, just one. All right, bottom of the eighth inning. Jeter, two for three. That's not good. Looks like Medich is going to get another complete game. Well, another game that was over before it ever started. I don't think Solita is going to get to 50. And we're going to wrap it up here. Darren Johnson. Four-star pass for Medich. Guy doesn't even have a fastball. AG. Singles. And the double played in the ball game. The Yankees win 62. Take a look at the standings. Thank you. We're back in last place. That's all we really kind of had the hope for. Um, does that give us the third pick? Yeah, because Montreal continues to lose. San Diego's lost 107 games, then Montreal, and then us. All right, well, um, I didn't notice. Six and a half. Oh, crap. Oakland has won the division. So the Oakland Athletics win the American League West. Wow, that's crazy. Did they win last year? I can't even remember. Let's look at the A's history. I, I, no, we won the last year. Duh. God, I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid sometimes. Uh, New York is within a game of Philadelphia. Houston's four and a half back from Los Angeles. We'll take a look at headline news. Tiger Stadium hosts Messersmith's five nothing shutout. Stargell knocks in four. A's clinch the West. There you have it. Catfish Hunter. Carlton strikes out 15. Oh my God. Let's look at that box score. That's crazy. We're seeing some wacky things here at the end. 15. He gave up five hits and two walks. One was a home run. That was to Chris, no, Bob Hansen. Very cool. All right. Take a look at the transactions. Uh, oh, yeah, Willie Crawford. I forgot to uh, update that. I have to do that. Bill Stein had a home run in that game with uh, Carlton's 15 strikeouts, and then he got injured for the rest of the year. So that'll, that'll do it for Bill Stein. Let's go ahead and pull up the box score and get out of here. Um, you know, we, we're still putting up the quick hits. Uh, yesterday's quick hit in game two was um, quick hits number 23, which was a, a stack of cards that I found at an antique store. It's pretty funny. Uh, I, I, I'm going back and watching them myself. Jose Cruz, player of the game. Um, and uh, I have to say, I got a kick out of that video. Uh, it happened right after I moved here. Uh, today's quick hits is of the uh, Topps Heritage from 2001. Uh, that was right after I moved to Tucson here. Doc Medich gets the win. He's 7-9. and nine. Ron Locke takes a loss, 6-4. and four. We pulled him after three. Uh, the game was not going to let him win. Uh, the errors by Van Kelly and Jerry Devannon sealed our fate. Uh, even though we are way better defensively than the Yankees, they made no errors. Makes sense, right? Uh, Darren Johnson struck out three times. Ouch. Okay, that'll do it. Oh, by the way, uh, Jose Cruz, that's his fifth multi-hit game in a row. 
kind of amazing. All right, if you want to get in on the giveaway, just remember, be a subscriber. Let me know in the comments below. Check out the prizes on the Brainiac Baseball community page or on the Facebook Brainiac Baseball page. Until tomorrow, everyone have a great day.